What up, it's Melvin7 here and today, if the leaks are correct, we're going to be getting a flashback, Laurent Koscielny with 80 pace. We'll see if there's anything else as well, hopefully UCL, SBCs, because it is the Champions League later and I for one am buzzing. And there it is, Laurent Koscielny flashback. It only has 77 pace, so the leaks were correct and incorrect. Low high work rates, which is perfect for a centre-back, 86 rated, 77 pace. 86 defending and 81 physical. Two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Fairly irrelevant for a centre-back. Um, 77 pace, acceleration, sprint speed. That's fairs. Decent, well, very good aggression. Very good jumping. 82 strength. Stamina is okay. Defending, quite immaculate for this uh, stage of FIFA. Reactions is good. Obviously, agility and balance a little bit lacking, but not too bad for a centre-back. Composure is high. Short passing is high. This is a good card, to be honest. This could be one, depending on the price, that I consider doing. Because it, it might be one of these that I don't want to miss out on. So it's two segments. We'll have a look at that in a sec, just to make sure. And there we go. We've got UEFA marquee matchups. We've got a rare Electrum players pack uh, for the, the general group. We'll see if there's anything else before we uh, take a, uh, a deeper look into that. So yeah, that's what we've got for SBCs. Do we have anything for objectives? Probably not, is my guess, but you never know. There could be UCL stuff, actually. I hope so. Uh, we've got week two gold. No, it doesn't look as though they've actually put anything in for objectives, which is a bit annoying, but it could be for tomorrow, I suppose. Uh, we'll double check how the teams are doing, just in case there's another one. So we've got two days left on that, and it looks as though Harlan's going to lose. I I'm staggered by that, to be honest. Oh, well, anyway... Um, Let's go back on to play on the squad building challenges. We'll have a look at Koscielny first and then uh, the, the UEFA marquee matchup. So it's an 84 and an 85 rated team. You get a small rare mix players pack and a jumbo gold pack. Right, the gold, jumbo gold pack is whack. 25 items, 3 gold. Uh, the small rare mixed, 4 bronze, silver, gold, and they're all rare. It's not too bad. It could be worse. 60 chemistry for the 85 and 65 chemistry for the 84. So at a guess, I would say this is about 60, 70k, uh, possibly slightly more. It, it depends because the market's fluctuating like crazy right now. Maximum it'll be is 80k. I'll check that after we do UEFA marquee matchups uh, on Footbin. But this might be one that I consider doing because he does look quite decent. Being French, he links very easily. Uh, of course, he's in League 1 as well, so... Well, the midfield for Ligue 1 isn't that good, but of course you've got Mbappe and Neymar for forward, so, you know. Right, so Ajax versus Liverpool, a prime mix players pack, and Paris Saint-Germain versus Manchester United, 25k pack. Okay, what do we need? We need UEFA Champions League rares and UEFA Champions League commons. Straight away, that's an L, because where can you get those? Am I missing something? Have they gave another SBC where you can get uh, UEFA Champions League cards? Because you know on the market they're going to be extinct. Uh, if there's no supply. I know they'll be in packs right now, but that doesn't help anyone. Usually what they do with a, an SBC like this, I'm just backing out to make sure they haven't given anything, is provide uh, an upgrade path so they, they might give like a terrible SBC that gives you three common UEFA League players or an SBC that gives you one rare Champions League card but they haven't they've just gave the marquee matchups so essentially you either have to go out and buy the rares and the commons which we'll have a quick look at ah I'm a bit annoyed at that surely they've got to have meant to put another SBC in because at the end of the day, bar Ruben Diaz and there was one other player, Dest, I think. They were the only two that were UCL cards before they were officially UCL cards. Um, so let's have a look. Have they even specified that as a thing yet? Oh, they have. Okay. UEFA Champions League common. I have none in the club. Do I have any rares? No. Okay. We'll look on the market then because... They're going to be price fixed for like 10k. It's just not going to be worth it right now. Um, so unfortunately, although the packs back are pretty decent, right now, considering these cards will be 10k, I've got to call that an L, because they haven't released a way to get them. I, look at that, I mean, you've got loads on there for 11k. I'm, again, you could open packs, and if you've got packs saved, then great, you might have enough. Uh, but if I put 9,200, what are we looking at? Yeah, they're, they're like 8k at the minute. 
It's just not worth it at all. If you can snipe one, then good for you, but... Yeah, that's... It's EA again not actually considering what they're putting out. Like, in order to do this, you need to have an option for these cards. Like, it's a joke that you've got to pay 7k on the market. And you're never going to be able to snipe these anyway, because everyone's just going to be looking. Like, this page is there, but... I'll have, a, I'll have a go. I'll have a go. I'll see if I can snipe for the content. I might do this, but I would recommend that you wait. I mean, look at that. I searched in a second and just look. These, I'm never going to be able to get them. Yeah, there you go. Listing expired. Just, what are they doing, man? I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'll see if I can get any, and then if not, then... I. I hate not doing the pack SBCs in the video, but I might not have to do the pack SBCs in the video and just save that for the Let's Play. Because, um, yeah, this is just stupid. It really is. Uh, I could load it. I'll see if there's any promo packs just to see if I can get any rare Champions League cards. Ideally, I don't really want to spend anything, but... <sighs> If there's like two, three, there's not even any, there's, there's not even promo packs. 15Ks don't care, don't count as promo packs. It, they just don't think, they just don't think there's no way to get these without sniping them for ludicrous prices on the market. Like, can I get this dude? No, he's expired. 7K. What about this? Angelino, there you go, expired. Like, if I can get one... I'll try. Uh, I'll try and build it and see what we can do, but... I, I would advise that you wait until these become readily available or you pack them, then do them in the SPC. Of course, I could do some two-player upgrades if I've got anything in the... You know what? I might do that. I might do that for the video. Try and get some UCL cards by building a couple of two rare gold player packs. Um, so if you get SPCs, let's have a look. Uh... I'll see if I can quickly build uh, four or five. Most of them will be rare golds that I've got left in my club that are untradeable anyway, so I don't mind. Uh, we'll do gold, we'll do low to high, and we'll put them in. But yeah, stay well clear of these um, until the cards are like 1, 2k, or until you get untradeable ones. Just sell any Champions League cards that you get. Um, then again, there's probably a time limit on this. Like, I think it's, what, 2 two days until these expire it's, it's there could be an SBC tomorrow that gives you these cards if there is brilliant uh, I'm just gonna make sure is he untradeable Upa Mancano still I would ideally not want to use him because uh, he is pretty usable I know he's cheap and I know Mason Greenwood's there but I know he's untradeable and I can get him back quite easily um, I'm gonna build five of these I think open them and see if we get any CL cards Oh, I've clicked you. Oh, no, that's the right thing. Um, there you go. I, I've barely got any common goals as it is, to be honest. So, I know it's not very efficient doing this. Uh, and, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. You know what? I'll leave it at three, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll open three of these, see if we can get a UCL card, and then that's... That's going to be the video if I can't, because, yeah, I, I'm not going to snipe for 8k... Um, it's just, it's silly. Uh, we've got an objective done, I'll check what that is. But here we go, it's probably the SBC master, isn't it? The 200 SBCs or whatever it is. So the first one, is that going to be a walkout? Um, it's not, is it a board? It's not, but we're hoping for a UCL card, of course. Um, we don't get one, we get Almeida, which isn't great. So yeah, if we don't get a UCL card, I'm not going to be doing those SPCs. Overall, if you can get the cards untradeable, of course, it's a big L. There's some decent packs for this stage of the FIFA. But if you don't have the cards, don't go out and buy them, and it's an L. As for the, the Koscielny, I think that is a win. Um, I am going to consider doing that. If he's coming in at 80k, which is what I hazard uh, he will be. Let's have a quick look. Footprint, see if they've got anything. Now that I've, you know... Done this for a bit. What have we got in there? No walkout, no board, no UCL card. Great. Active challenges. Let's have a look. 
so there you go that, that was a waste uh, essentially but oh Koscielny's 112k okay mm, that's probably going to put me off then I think he's a good card I still think the card's a win because League 1 doesn't really have too many amazing centre backs so if you've got a League 1 squad he's obviously French he links you know I, I think it's a win 112k though I might not do it I might not do it I don't know what do you think uh, overall I think today he have just been unprepared it could have been a win but overall I'm probably going to have to say an L what do you think hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace